right, I wanted to give an update on a colony that I started last year. Uh, this type of setup is called the N. This is not framed, and this is one of the very first ones made. The kind of ants in this form aquarium are Campanotus castaneus. They're uh, mostly a ground dwelling species of carpenter ant. Generally, this colony stays where you see them now. Uh, this is the lower level, uh, the right-hand side, as it faces me when I'm looking at it. Um, they do split their time a little bit um, and go over to the left side. Um, and then occasionally, you'll see the whole group move up to the top. Uh, mostly, what I can tell is that they're, they're moving where the, the moisture is. I usually hydrate it on the second level and let the moisture run down uh, along the side so the ants can drink from it, which you may have seen in some of the past videos of this colony. And right now, the colony's got uh, quite a few larger larvae and some smaller larvae. Uh, the queen has not resumed her egg laying for this year yet, uh, which is different than the other three Campanotus castaneus colonies that I have the other three have uh, this one is not so trying some different things to remedy that problem um, adding a little heat changing up some of their food uh, but they seem happy um, and they seem healthy their gastro seems swollen like they have plenty of food um, so I think they're doing fine uh, there is also a carcass of a crickus, cricket inside of the formicarium that they brought in there last year. Fortunately, it hasn't molded to a great extent, and it doesn't seem to be bothering them. You can see they're very comfortable. It's only a few inches from them in this shot right here, so uh, I don't think it bothers them too much. I've tried to get it out, but I can't, so um, I've changed some of the ways I feed uh, all my colonies because of this one incident. <laughs> um, i pretty much stake them using a piano wire and uh, then they have to pull them apart before they actually take them back into the formicaria, um, formicarium that they uh, reside in and this has really made a big difference as far as cutting down on uh, trash inside of the formicaria and possible mold growing. Uh, there you can see a shot of the stake uh, that I use for this particular colony. Um, I appreciate you guys taking a look at uh, this update. We will be touching back with them soon once they have some of these uh, starting to develop into new workers at closing uh, here in probably another month to a month and a half. And hopefully we'll have some new eggs to uh, look at by then. Thanks for watching.